What does it mean to be human? Every human being, according to my tradition, was created in the image of God. All humans are equally precious. No human being is demonic. There is light and there is darkness. There is good and there is evil. And we, each one of us, encompass all of it. So here's the trick. This is the wonderful thing. We are afraid of the darkness and we are afraid of evil. But once we realize that we ourselves partake in our essence of that very same darkness and evil, we can say, ha, I got your number. I know exactly how to defeat you because I am part of you. You are also inside me. And so I learn from what I must do to be a good person, what I must do to fight for good outside of me. So every human being is a piece of the universe and there is a, a, an echo through all of us and through all of life, never mind just humans, all of the rest of that which is created on this beautiful creation that is all one. We all are made up of the same atoms and molecules. We are all one. Our, our physical shapes are illusory. We are all made up of stardust and earth dust and the breath of God. One of the most treasured theological concepts that I hold and um, my tradition holds is the, the theological affirmation that we are made in the image of God, that to be human is to be made in the image of God. So to me, it's a reminder. It, it harkens back to that first question, what does inclusion mean? That not only I bear within me the imprint of that image of God, my sister or my brother, regardless of what other differences we may have, they too are made in the image of God. And me, for me, that is the deepest essence of what it is to be human and to be a person of faith, to recognize that within myself, but especially in those um, around me, even if they differ profoundly from me. Um, and I dare say the challenge is for me to see that in someone who may differ with me in who they chose to vote for and how they might approach uh, the coming months and years. For me, that is my learning curve because I can affirm that, but when the rubber hits the road, will I remember to treat them as a human being and actually call them to treat me as a human being? One of the things about being human is we're all different. I mean, even those of us that look alike, even identical twins, you know, we're all different. We have to embrace that. We have to begin to understand it and to understand that it's okay. And at the same time, we have to see where humanity can pull together. What is it that makes us, um, that builds the beloved community, that builds community in general? How are we alike? What are our basic needs for, for survival, for love, for belonging, for understanding? We all need those things. Even Trump, you know, needs those things. When we talk about those things with our friends, with our family, when, then we understand that we, we need and want the same things. And then it's just a matter of working out how do we get there in a way that respects all those differences and all those needs and, and gets us to the place of, of uh, meeting them. <laughs>